Hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me! Welcome to another cast here of uh, Nexus Division NGS. Uh, my name is Dr. Holiday, and I'm joined here by uh, Opius. How's it going, Opius? Good. Uh, having a good time. Yeah. Sorry we're late, everybody. We have a uh, one of the teams uh, had a member who was unable to make it on time, unfortunately. Um, and so they had to actually uh, forfeit the first match. So we're going in with a 1-0 uh, lead on the side of Duraton's couch. Um, but, uh, hopefully we'll get uh, a good match here and, and, uh, hopefully go to actually see two matches if, um, if, uh, uh, I can't troll is able to, uh, secure the win. So, uh, just, uh, for everybody that is watching to know, I've got the, uh, the map bands and, um, those would be uh, on the sides of uh, of I can't troll is going to be they ban Dragonshire and Sky Temple while Duraton's Couch banned Alteric and Volskaya. So those are going to be the map bans coming out today uh, for this match. And the first match that we're going to be jumping into is going to be on Towers of Doom. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the setup for these matches. We've got the uh, the last player just jumping online. We'll be getting started here soon. Uh, what are you expecting out of this match? Um, you know what? I'm not sure. I don't. I never watched. Uh, I never watched uh, both of these teams play before. Uh, well, just just one of them. So I'm not really sure what to expect here. I'm yeah. assuming a lot of team fighting, just because we have some. So some we have some really high rank people going on here. So I hope I don't. We don't see a double healer match. <laughs> We did see one of those last time uh, when we were casting uh, a Duraton's Couch. Um, uh, I'm sorry, it's I'm not trolling, not I can't troll. Um, I, I'm not trolling is the uh, is the 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 other team. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, I agree. I mean those those matches can sometimes be a little um, the drag. Yeah, they're a little slower when you're looking at those team fights. Um, so I, I I agree with you. It it'll be uh it'll definitely be interesting to see. I always like to see who what the what the bands are, what the uh, different um uh you know if they're if they're targeting specific people on the other team or if there's a situation where they're banning um you know just power picks stuff that's like you know S tier uh, characters uh, or heroes in the game. Right. Uh, looks like 
we're almost ready just still waiting on that last person here and then we'll jump into our game uh thank you everybody for for joining us and again i apologize for the delay um you know on the uh on the stream and on the on the match i know everybody's looking forward to watching some hots with us um I'm definitely looking forward to watching some HOTS, and uh, we'll be jumping into this as soon as this final person is able to get on. I did get confirmation that he's uh, loading up the game, so we should be jumping into it soon. Um, bands, I, you know, for, for map bands, it's always, you know, it's, it's uh, for those of you who are watching to uh, do some homework on some other teams in your division, you know... Um, it's always good to see what the uh, what the other teams are are banning in in terms of maps. Um, you know, there's a, there's definitely some strategy that can go into that for if you're if you're going against that team. Durton's Couch banning out Alteric and Volskaya. Both those maps, you know, can go into some longer matches, right? Um, where you've got some some games that will go a little bit uh into the higher levels it's a lot harder to close out those matches right so it's uh it's interesting that they picked those and then uh i'm not trolling picked dragonshire and sky temple so those are you know those are maps where you've got point control so it's interesting to see those those map bands come out from from each of those teams um any thoughts on that opius um, no, I'm just looking at the chat here. Uh, somebody said any minute now. <laughs> so yeah. it's just, it just made kind of made me laugh because it's like the person is like, oh yeah. It's like, it's like me. It's like me, with me when, when we play games, me and you, you ask me, oh yeah. Uh, when are you going to be online? I say, uh, five minutes. And then two hours later, I hop online. So. <laughs> yeah. There's always somebody in the group that does that. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I see the memes on TikTok. Um, yeah, you know, it'll uh I I think they'll be getting in here soon. Um so we'll just keep rambling on for a little bit until the in, until uh that person decides to arrive. Um Yeah, you know, I I am interested to see what these what these map bands, you know, come to uh or or you know, in the future, you know, and and it's always good to study those teams and and find out whether or not there are um any consistency with those map bands or if it's, you know, a one-time thing. Maybe they don't want to play against that play that match against a specific team because they're good at that ma at that map. Maybe they don't want to play it because there's um they just don't like the map. It's it's always interesting to see uh what teams choose to do with those with those situations. In terms of the uh in terms of the um, standings for this division, we'll go over that here while we're waiting for this last person to jump in. Standings for this um this is Nexus division. Currently, uh, we have Durton's Couch sitting in fifth place, so right in the middle of the pack. And then we've got I'm Not Trolling in ninth place. Um, so, you know, you've got a, a number five versus a number nine here. Um, so, you know, both these teams really fighting to, to, you know, get some points on the board, move up the leaderboards, get towards the top of the division, um, or get higher up in the division as, uh, you know, so that they can fight for a playoff spot. So it's, uh, you know, going to be a good one, even though we can potentially only have one match uh, with uh, with the forfeit of the first match that had to come from I can't tr or uh, I'm not trolling. But, uh, you know, we can always hope that there's going to be, you know, a third game or, you know, a quote unquote third game. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. Yeah. We want to see some action. Agreed. We see some close games. Towers of Doom is always a good one, uh, just because you can always, you know, you can always fight into the, uh, it, 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 you know, you, you can always fight to the end. There's, you know, it's, um, it's one of those ones where you can really turn it around if you, um, you know, if you made some mistakes in the beginning. If you're, if you're able to, you can, you can turn the match around and still win. Um, seen some crazy comebacks on that map, so it'll be, yeah. You know, it's, always it's all about winning the rotation. Uh, for the most part on this. So you have a team that uh, gets good sight in the middle between the mid and bottom lane and who could disrupt the other team on their rotation, get some ganks along the way, uh, get ahead on that XP, and they'll get you on a beam rolling on that on those fights. So I, I believe what whatever team executes that the best will win the match. 
Definitely. Definitely. Um, I think we're... No, still not? Nope. Oh, boy. All right, well. Well, good thing football's on now. <laughs> yeah, good, th <laughs> good thing we got the football match on right now. For those of you football fans, you know, it's uh, type in chat who you're, who you're rooting for. I'm guessing there's probably a lot of Kansas City fans. That's uh, they're the they're the current hot hot team in the league. Um, so uh, or maybe we have people who aren't even football fans at all. So, you never know. Um, but yeah, there's there's uh, there's definitely a good football match to watch right now. I've got it on my phone so that I can uh, so I can watch it while we're going through this right now. There's a new update on on Tarkov. If any of you guys play Escape from Tarkov, <laughs> yeah, I saw all the love updates. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't. I didn't read all the patch notes, but I saw that there were certainly some updates that were. They nerfed that gun. That um, I forgot the name of the gun, but the one that you were telling me to use, the, the automatic. Uh, oh. Rifle, the one yeah, with no yeah. sights. Right. They right. nerf it a little bit. I hear it's pretty good. They put more recoil on. It. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, because it was so. Uh, it was most down that. people. Um, but the, yeah, I was watching a little bit somebody's take on the patch it looks like that all right so we got a, look. says his game is loading uh let's hope it's let's hope it's actually loading here um get this thing going real life takes over sometimes you know sometimes you just aren't able to you know get in and and make it happen um the uh sometimes you know I, I think this person got held over at work and you know sometimes that happens you're just not able to get out of get out of the office get out of the you know get out of the job site um yeah or probably has a bad computer can't load up the game well that's definitely what it sounds like right now we're having some <laughs> trouble just getting loaded up here uh so we'll see we'll see if he's able to make it there will be a forfeit if we can't get this going in the next nine minutes um so i uh i apologize to everybody we'll wipe this off we'll wipe this uh cast off of off the the map because we don't want it but um yeah i'm hoping we see a game i was looking forward to this yeah. Maybe we could cast one of the teams play a round or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'd be great if we could uh, uh, view view a ram. Well, I guess you can if you did a if you did a custom, but you can't view a random mm -hmm. one. Yeah, yeah. This uh, that should be the tiebreakers on uh, some of these maps. Just one a ram, yep. whole team. Let's go. Who wins? <laughs> that'd be pretty entertaining. Pretty entertaining. The chat, the chat is really quiet. Well, yeah, I'm guessing it's a lot of people that. Are, well, we had some people drop off, and then I'm guessing it's a, a couple people from uh, from the teams that are just watching. Because uh, yeah, we're. I mean, without starting a match, nobody wants to watch us just talk for the for the you know past ten minutes. So join the conversation. Get some more creative name like this Paldor Hots. Peldor Hots. Hey, we got him. He's oh, in. Oh, maybe. Pending. 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 Waiting for that invite to go through. See if his uh, computer is able to make this happen here. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. He dropped out. Oh, man. That was a close one. Uh, Should have waited to start the cast a little bit later. They said he was home when we started, and then now we're still waiting. And that was quite a while ago. All right, we got a got another invite pending. Oh, oh no! What in the world? I feel like seeing him join for like a half a second kind of reminds me of uh, trying to start up a, a lawnmower back in the day or something. 
And you can't, it like almost starts as and then the eyes out, and then you have to keep on pulling that thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at right now in life. I'm, uh, I'm not understanding what's happening here. If he's in the game, he's got the invite, why it's not taking, um, yeah, not looking good here, guys. Sorry. Sorry to yeah. our... Okay, uh, should I just sub for this team so I can play one <laughs> game, or what? I, I mean, if if they allow it, I don't know what the NGS rules are on that, but, uh, yeah, it's just so we have some sort of game. I'll play that damage mouth, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that pass. That was a pass. Got the Lions st stay in the game. Very nice pass. Oh, he dropped out again. Oh, boy. Well. It's kind of crazy that the Lions just a couple of years ago beat garbage team. Yeah. Just complete garbage. And um, and then last year they just had a just amazing season. And now they're looking pretty solid this year, too. Holy moly, we got we got him in. All right. Oh, there we go. Finally got him. All right. Here we go. We're dropping in. Towers. There he goes. There Sorry we go. for the sloppy transitions. And of course they changed sides on me, so let me uh let me change this up. Put some hollows in the chat. Got ban off Genji. I don't know what side's which. Cannot see that. Which team is on which side? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm not trolling. Just ban Genji. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm not trolling. Just ban Genji. Uh, good old Junkrat ban. I always like banning Junkrat. Yeah, Junkrat suck. So annoying. I hate the players who play Junkrat, too. Oh, we got a tracer ban on uh, not trolling. So they're basically banning all of uh, Yoner's characters right now, so far. Yeah, and you know, it's always it's hard to say when you ban characters like that because it's like, yes, Yoner's does play those characters, but is it really a ban on Yoner's or is it just a ban on those characters because they're really I mean, good? Either, either way, those are his typical is as we have seen. Yeah, so. definitely. Oh, Daka with the nice skin. Nice first pick. Do you like yeah. the skin? I'll give that a uh, two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. The uh, 10 out Yeah, 10. I mean, oh, first pick. Towers of Doom, really good map for Dahaka. Um, you know, being able to provide that global and, and assistance to your team on the bottom lane quickly. And then we get the Blaze and Tychus coming out on the side of Yeah, Dahaka. you know, I was expecting a Blaze from one of these teams, one of my guests. Be like a bla like a battle of blaze like maybe a Mathail or somebody. I was trying to figure that out in my head while we were waiting there. So got one one right. Yeah, and you know, at least in the games that we've casted, you know, you see a lot of Tychus. Um, he just is a beefy, you know, tank killer. Um, and it's uh, it, it, he seems to work out really well. And then on the side of uh, I'm not trolling, picked up the Lunara and Brightwing. I mean, Brightwing is a top tier healer. Another global on the side of uh, I'm not trolling. So you know they've got some they've got some advantages there with that with those two pick or with that uh, the two global picks. And Nubarak ban. Interesting that they would go for an Anubarak ban. Makes me wonder what they're what they're going to be rolling into on their side because uh, at least so far nothing on the other team shows that you know Anubarak would be a, a pick that they would be at least in, unless Dirt and Scouts just knows that they like to play that character. But otherwise, there's nothing showing that they would be you know picking that or or going with right. Anubarak. Right. And they ban out some healers. Uh, we do. Ooh. We did cast the last game for Duratin's couch, 
and uh, the the play from Goliath on uh, Anduin was pretty amazing. So you know, it's uh, I I feel like that could be a targeted ban as well. Oh, that's right. There was also people in the chat mm -hmm. bragging about that. Like, give us fair warning. Yep. And uh, we have a touchdown by the Lions. Woo! Pats are tying them up. Yep. Game up. Maybe get ahead right now. Hey, and there's the variant again. Um, so that's you know that that also could be a reason why they banned the Anduin, right? Uh, variant is you know the point click taunt. Um, Anduin's one of the best to to pull out of that kind of um, that kind of situation. So definitely, maybe not a targeted ban, but you know maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But it's definitely a ban that was uh, a good choice on the side of I'm not trolling. But who would that be good for though? Maybe the Kerrigan. It will be good with the Ker against the Kerrigan. Because I don't really see Tykus getting caught off. Maybe Mouth. But between Blaze and Diablo, that taunt's not really going to do much. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the taunt can certainly get in there. Tychus has got to get pretty close. He's not, I mean, he's ranged, but he's not that far of a range character. So, right. and yeah, you're right. I mean, Kerrigan definitely can get you know, taunted and, and stuff. I mean, both teams look like they got pretty good drafts. I don't know what your thoughts are, um, but I'm I'm liking both of them. Yeah, I'm not trolling. It has this pretty scary comp for the sense that they have a lot of uh, a lot of crowd control elements to them, or stun elements, rather, with the uh, taunt, the uh, polymorph for right wing, which is going to hawk us, uh, grab. So they, I mean, they can get somebody the blow up is just mean by yourself though so i'm not really sure how they're gonna do that and yeah. um and then for a Dirtens couch they just have a just solid comp composition standard i would say standard um good team comp um diablo is solid i don't know i don't really like diablo personally map but we'll see how well they do he's just a good self-sustaining so definitely but the question my question to you is what build does Diablo go? Do you think he's going to take that that um, Dow armor on that level one tier, or what do you think? Yeah, the uh, or the soul soul shield or soul armor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that that would uh, against this team that level one talent would certainly make sense, right? Um, yeah. I, and you know, I think on the side of I'm not trolling, if they can if they can poke long enough, I think they they have a you know they've they've got a good chance. Although Malfurion does pretty good into poke, uh, just because of the rolling heels that he's got. Um, but they do have the Li Ming for the for you know for the burst damage too. So I mean they're they're pretty balanced on the side of I'm not trolling. It, it's going to be an interesting matchup. I mean I like I said I like yeah. both these both these uh, both these uh, compositions. We have some comments in the chat. It says red team looks kind of locks percent damage. Lenar gets it at 16. Varian can get it at 13. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, good, good comments there. It's uh, that's definitely uh, that's definitely true, right? Um, they've got some beefy boys on the side of uh, Duraton's couch with Diablo and Blaze. So, right here we go into game number one. Well, uh, officially game number one, but uh, but um, you know, really game number two. Um, here we go with, uh, on the blue team, we've got Dirt and Scouts, we've got Blaze played by Wildcard, I just fizzed on Diablo, Goliath, uh, playing Malfurion, Yonner's on Kerrigan, and Idioms on Tychus. And then on the red team, uh, I'm not trolling, we've got Seer on Varian, Crimson Chin on Li Ming, Brightwing played by Realistic, Dahaka being played by Shotdown007, and Lunara played by Silent X. Let's see there if we go we into go. some ARAM mode, or do we just get first kill and go? What are we doing here? Both teams. Virginia Scotch is all about clearing that wave. And it looks like they cleared the wave and they're going back. So I think all they cared about was getting that wave. Yep. And well, disrupting the, disrupting the um, rotation. Goliath oh, not getting in there. He's got the backup from his team. Got the nice blow up. Lunara gets taken out with the nice pull from Yonners. I just fizzed. 
beaten down Seer. Does he have the flip to pull him back over? Nice grenade by Tychus, and they take him out as well. But Fizz is getting low. He's all right, though. He's going to make it. And he did take the soul shield, so he does have that spell armor. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, no, I think it's a good choice, right? Against Li Ming and Lunara, going to get a lot of value yeah, out I of mean, that. Yeah, I mean, all of them. I mean, even Brightwing's little thing yeah. that he farts out to the people. Yep. Both teams grabbing their camps. Oh, Lunara gets caught out, rooted, stunned, everything just taken oh. out, and then Varian's going to take it too. He doesn't have his level 4 yet, so, you know, they're in trouble. We got Dahaka jumping down, trying to help out the oh. team. And they're able to get, intercept that camp. That's still that camp. That's really good for them. Definitely. Nice job avoiding uh, all those by uh, I'm not trolling. I like that I'm not trolling. It's not. It's still being pretty aggressive in some ways, um, trying to make sure they hold their own. But it's not really working out. Yeah, I mean, get bullied, but it's is right now. It's becoming hey, let's play passive, and save yeah. our enemy team from getting XP. Because look at the level five. It's a yeah, I mean, right now, they they really need to wait until level 4, right? I mean, now they got level 4, now Varian comes online, and he can, you know, he'll, he'll have taunt, they'll have a real tank here. Um, Let's see if that changes the strategy of uh, Durton's couch at all. See if they Durton's couch coming there. down for some kills here. They got the pull, misses oh, the stun. Barely misses. We got the Mouth taunt on dead. Goliath, though, and Mouth goes down. I just Fizz is getting really low, and he's slowed. Does Varian have his taunt up in seven seconds? Fizz is going to go down as well. Yonders gets a stun on the bright wing, takes a lot of damage, and the grenade kill, or no, it was a tower shot. Idioms really low as well. So some back and forth there. Great job by I'm Not Trolling getting some kills right before altar phase yeah. as well. Getting some kills, and um, Dirt Tennis Couch did a good job. Uh, not, oh. Taunt onto yeah, Idioms, uh, and you're not going to make it out of there. Yeah, he is way too low to stick around there. Level 7 talents acquired by uh, Duritin's Couch, so they're going to have a little bit of an advantage here. While, um, But uh, I'm not trolling is catching up in XP, so... Yeah, they're going to be EV talents. It's very soon. You can definitely see the different, uh, you know, the difference here with these teams now being on... Uh, you know, now that the I'm Not Trolling has a tank. And they're pressuring Duritin's Couch here on this camp. Duritin's Couch not really posturing like they want to fight. Fizz is getting involved. Seer goes in with the charge. Doesn't taunt anybody yet, though. Wildcard is there. Gets the flip and the stun on Lunara. Lunara's getting low, and she goes down. Nice pull by the Dahaka. Both teams are... Still running. Dahaka take, gets a lot of health from Brightwing. Big oh stun by God, Wildcard. Huge stun. Grenade takes out the Brightwing. We do have a grenade build going on here on the side of uh, with Idioms on... Um, oh, Yonner's taking a lot of damage. And he's going to make it out, though. Nice taunt. Big pull on Fizz. Li Ming's That's going down, though. Between the sleep and the stun, really, that sleep is really empowering Yonner and that Kerrigan. Oh, yeah. Kind of impressive. Pretty good combination. I never thought of that. The sleep is deadly. Just gives you that little extra time. Yep. Two seconds to, uh, where you're not allowed to play your character, so. So annoying. Teams going up to collect these altars. Wildcard looks like they're going to just trade them out. Wildcard's picking up the one on the side of Durton's couch. Level 10 acquired by Durton's couch. They're going to have a little bit of an advantage here while uh, no, I'm not trolling still is trying to get there. Seer gets pulled back. Taunts on the uh, on uh, the Tychus. Silent is getting worn down right now. About to be taken out, and he does. Mm. 
<laughs> getting some siege on this tower. About to break it down here. Um, yeah, look, getting control like of the, the bottom lane. Um, the synergy with that Kerrigan is just a little off. I was um, just gonna say the same thing. The 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 flips, the pushes, the roots are not lining up perfectly right yeah. now. Yeah. Yep. It's, it looks like that uh, Kerrigan needs to wait for those roots and uh, and those sleeps from the root. Level ten, almost here for uh, I'm not trolling. I think that'll open things up a bit. There we go. They got level ten. Give the top lane some. Uh, some love right now we've got these two uh two guys doing a great job doing you know soaking for their teams um uh looks like they're looking for a fight on the side of i'm not trolling root misses stun misses stun by blaze does connect though and uh varian getting really low barely gets oh out with 50 God. health but brightwing really i don't know how that was possible Brightwing sacrifices for that though, so uh, bottom altar pops up. Big pull onto the Kerrigan, and uh -huh. she gets low, and she's gonna go down. But Dahak is getting really low, and the Twilight Dream takes care of uh, takes care of him there. I like that they got Twilight Dream. Blaze down on the bottom, capturing that altar. I also like that Detroit's beating Kansas City right now. Just uh, as a side note, I like that too. It's uh, it's only one point, but I love that one point. Yep. All right. Uh, surprisingly, things are tied up in terms of the uh, in terms of the points, twenty-eight to twenty-eight. So yeah, it's gonna ramp up very soon. Yeah, even though the uh, even though the the uh, kills are lopsided 12 to 4 the the points are um you know they're even right now so we got a we got a tie game here essentially varian gets into we a bad situation there team fight going on right now we do the blaze misses the stun idiom's getting real low the taunt or the uh pull misses on kerrigan wild card is harassing the back line there we get the uh odin popped by idioms a lot and of damage Haka going out. Is getting in just right now. Dahaka gets in. Taunt onto Idioms. The big, big uh, fire breath there goes out. And we uh, have a 3-1 to one game there. Big dodge on Dah from Dahaka there to escape out of, the, out of there. And uh, Durton's couch comes out on that one, on top on that one. They did have the talent tier advantage as well. And they got a... Uh, I didn't even notice that. They got a pumpkin in as well. I, they had a pumpkin sapper down there. A lot of damage going on on wild card. He pulls the bunker to stay safe, but I, he's not going to make it. Get the tongue onto Diablo. He's getting low. Yonners misses the pull and stun. Diablo just really taking a lot of damage here. Brightwing pulls out the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Emerald Wind. Stun. Diablo's going to go down. Now we've got uh, some uh, fighting back here. Taunt onto, the, the, uh, onto Goliath on the uh, Malfurion. But he's going to keep himself alive there. And Brightwing's getting himself out as well. But we do have two altars being captured here on the side of I'm Not Trolling. So they're keeping themselves in this game right now. Actually ahead at this point in time. 27 to 22 shots on the towers. Even at, even though they do have one, alt, or one tower down. Seer getting chased by the Kerrigan. Gets pulled. Stunned. Rooted. Brightwing comes in. Gets rooted as well. Emerald Wind goes out to get him free. Odin gets popped here. Melf keeps on missing the, the roots there. I think that's one of their biggest issues. Those roots are not coming out quick enough. Are the right placement. Yeah, the uh, they are still up a talent tier as well. So I mean, uh, oh, they they find Blaze again, but he's not able to do it. 
Fire Breath comes out. Diablo getting really low, and Diablo's gonna go down. It's so amazing that it looks like it looks like I'm not trolling. It's not taking any damage at all. So stun. Oh, what a blow up by Yonners on that, and they get two kills. Just turn just that like around that. real fast. You know, I I uh, I can't help but think that was a a, a, uh, a situation that um, I'm not trolling really. Uh, Really made a mistake on on that one. They they could have had right. the uh, ability to get on even talent tiers, get their tr their altar back or their uh, their tower back, and uh, they were getting hungry for the kills. And um, yeah, yeah, they had a lot of success, and then they just kind of chased that blood hungry and yeah. So they doing what they were doing. They were playing the map really good earlier and choosing the right fights. Yeah, looks like they're gonna get a fight on this altar. See if they choose to commit to it or not they're just they're poking at this 16, point they just got 16 so find even that talent tiers. yeah even talent tiers and they get the polymorph teams are going in taunt on to the diablo uh the brightwing gets annihilated and uh, dahaka's taking a lot of damage too teams are spread out dahaka's about to go down gets taken yeah, out by the kerrigan And now we've got uh, now we've got Duritin's couch taking down another one of the towers on the side of I'm not trolling. So and they waited to cap the uh, yeah, good job the there. Yeah, getting six points instead of five. Gonna take the lead officially. Bunch of damage going out onto Seer. Emerald wins, comes out by the Brightwing. Good job saving his teammates there. Seer goes in, gets stunned. The Twilight Dream goes out, but doesn't or only connects with the Varian. Good enough. Yep. I can't taunt it. Kerrigan and Dahaka are fighting up top. He's taking a lot of damage. Oh, and it looks like Kerrigan's probably going to... Oh, there we go. They got the kill. And Kerrigan wins that uh, that fight, that trade, and wins the uh, the uh, Pumpkin Sappers. Red team has destroyed a fort. I'm Not Trolling does get control of their towers again, which is, which is good for them. Uh, Taunt goes out onto Kerrigan. They're looking for another fight. Stun goes down onto the Lunara, and the Fire Breath takes him down. Odin comes out. Brightwing taking a lot of damage, and he's going to get taken out as well. Diablo saves the uh, Varian by pulling him out of the uh, roots. But they are able to capture that top altar and get level 20 here. So, a lot the of. timers are so high right now. It's going to. This is, might just snowball to the end there for I'm not trolling definitely and they're gonna get this they're gonna get this um, uh, they're gonna get this boss and both teams they're gonna looks like they're gonna posture up for this I don't know if this is a smart move on the side of uh, I'm not trolling but um, well bright wing's just up right now so it should be fine yeah. And there's right wing. There's bright wing. Dahaka's in there. Emerald win. Disengages. They the still last don't... time you seen Emerald win. I haven't seen that use from bright wing in a long time. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't see it when I play. Well, I don't see a lot of bright wing in Storm League because they ban him all the time. But uh, yeah, it's definitely it, it's it's been working out for him. I mean, bright wing's been making some good plays with those Emerald wins, disengaging. Yeah. Diablo comes in from behind, gets taunted. The root goes out onto Varian. We've got Twilight Dream comes out onto Varian as well. And Yonners takes out the Lunara, just blows up that Lunara with uh, Kerrigan. Taking a lot of damage here. I just fizz is getting taunted. Big stun coming out by Kerrigan. Gets two of them in that pull and takes them down. Wow. Good play there okay. by Kerrigan.
And we got Dahaka trying to get a tower back on the very top lane. Duritan's couch is going to have all the altars here for a short amount of time. Oh, yep. There we go. Dahaka got it. They only lost uh, one shot. And now we've got Duritan's couch kind of standing by watching this to see if anybody comes out of the sewer. Let's see if... Let's see if he decides... He is. He's going. They're going to capture this Lunara... Oh my gosh, and yes, that was because. that was brutal. Teams came out of that as well. Brightwing is unable to secure the heal. And the silence goes down, and I think this is gonna be game over here. Dahaka doing his darndest. Brightwing goes down. It's a full team wipe, and that's going to be GG. Duritin's couch. They recover well. It wasn't going their way for a moment. They were able to recover and uh, figure out what was wrong that they were doing, and ultimately win the game. Yeah. By Duritin's couch. Very good game. Um. And, uh, you know, well done by Duritin's Couch. Glad we got to at least see one game there. That is going to be the end of the series. Duritin's Couch goes up 2-1. There was a forfeit on the first game because I'm Not Trolling was unable to get all their players on on time. Um, let me see if I can get this uh, team in here for a... Team in here for a... Um, What's it called? Interview. Interviews don't seem right with just one. <laughs> I know. It's it's definitely not the same. Definitely not the same. Uh, let's see here. Let's see where we can find them. Um, where are they at? I'm going to go into lobby three. Okay. There we go. You there? Yep, I can hear you. Seeing if we can yeah. get somebody from Duritin's couch in here. Uh, it looks like uh, Detroit is going to secure this win. It looks like they are. How exciting. For all you nerds out there that don't know about football, uh, Detroit Lions just basically took all the towers from Towers of Doom. <laughs> they got all the towers and... Uh, they're shooting off right now. Yeah, they're, they're landing. Wow. Beat the... Beat the Kansas City Chiefs on game one. What a what a game. I'm not getting a response here from uh Hello. Hey, there we are. How's it going? There we go. Good. Good. Uh you know, um I was telling the, the the cast, you know, unfortunately we didn't get a game one technically because uh uh, they had to forfeit their first match, but uh, it was great to, that we at least got to have one game in there. Um, how do you guys feel after that win? Uh, pretty pretty good. I mean, they definitely were clawing back at us in the middle of the game. They, I think they were ahead on shots, actually, for a fair bit of the time as well, for in the early to mid game. But, um, you know, we we kind of scaled up and we started hit, landing a lot of stuns off of uh, Diablo there and it just was kind of smooth sailing after that. Yeah, they um, uh, if I remember correctly they were actually up, oh, well you guys were tied on, on shots for the 
good part of the match, um, and they were ahead going into about well when you guys were into level thirteen. So yeah, I mean they were they were ahead um, for a little bit there, and um, you know it was a, it was definitely a, a good match uh, until you guys kind of started, like you said, scaling up and taking off. Then it started getting a little lopsided, but. Um, yeah, the uh, you know a lot of good a lot of good play out of uh, out of you guys. We did notice. Um, talk to us about the synergy there between the comp. Uh, all the pieces were there, but we noticed there may, might have been some. Um, you know, m maybe don't didn't have it all locked in exactly with the pulls, stuns, flips, roots. A couple of those were missing from time to time. Did you guys feel that way, or did you feel like it was working okay for you? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't disagree that there was definitely a few occasions where we weren't lining up what we were all trying to do with each other. Um, thankfully, enough of it worked together still. But yeah, I would I would agree with your assessment there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it still definitely worked out, and, and you guys were able to pull pull through with a, a pretty good uh, pretty good win there. Um, any Anything that surprised you from, from uh, I'm Not Trolling? Well, I know they, they did a good job of picking on me when I was getting too greedy against the Tahaka for right-wing teleporting in, and I'm just rotating quick enough off of that to kill me so they definitely did a good job off of that for against me and i i know they had a few they, they did a good job when we were kind of trickling in trying to slow them down but so definitely props to them for that yeah what did you what did you change when you started to get gank there a couple times in a row uh i realized well it was late enough in the game that at that point i'm like okay if i'm on my own i'm probably going to get myself dead if all of them are up so i'm just going to stay with the team because we had gotcha. Oh, basically, we're hitting twenty by that point. And... Right. <laughs> um. Any. Uh, any. Um. You know, I, we've uh, casted your guys' games a couple times now. Towers of Doom seems to be. Uh. You know, a, a comfortable map for you guys. Is that. Uh, is that one of your favorites? Is that just. You know, I mean, it's a. It's a popular map just in competitive play in general. You know, if you watch anybody playing any kind of competitive. Uh, hots. I know we don't have a pro scene anymore, RIP, but um, the, uh, you know, as, as far as competitive matches go, it seems to be a pretty popular map. You know, you guys have any feelings on that or that you're willing to share with the with the group? Yeah, yeah, we've been practicing it a bit more and we've been getting pretty comfortable with it. Not perfect, but, you know, pretty happy. And it, there's actually a good portion of the maps we're feeling pretty comfortable on right now. And thankfully, the ones we don't, we can just ban out. So... Yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't say it's like head and shoulders above any of the other maps we would pick, but it's it's definitely been one that we've been enjoying to take either game one or game two, take our opponents to. So we've been casting your guys' games. Um, one thing I've noticed is Genji basically gets banned every single. Week. Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys even practice with Genji at all on your guys' scrims? Oh yeah, Yonner's. Yonners will never shy away from his heroes that keep getting banned out by other teams. And I mean, yeah. it's completely fair they ban him out, but thankfully Yonners is not a one-trick pony. So he, he's yeah. been doing quite well on Kerrigan, I think, both this series and the one before. Very nice. Well, any any last words that you have uh, before we close out? Yeah, uh, just shout out to the team. Thanks for playing great tonight. And... Yeah, and thanks you guys for casting and your patience. It was, I'm, I'm glad we could get a game in. It was very nice. <laughs> yeah, it was good that there was a game in there, and uh, you know we'll look we'll look for the one next week, and hopefully you know hopefully get a full series on the next one. But uh, great job, you know, and congratulations on the win. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good night. Awesome. Thanks. See you too, later. Woman. All right. Thanks. All right. Well, that was a pretty good game, Opius. Um, thanks a lot for joining me on the cast. Any last words? Uh, join us on the next one. Uh, stay tuned. Join us on the next one. We'll try to cast more games too. Yeah, Maybe definitely. We can cast some other people's names. Uh, I would like to cast some of the a lower division game. Cast. Yeah. Just a wide range of gameplay. Uh, it's I assume it'd probably be way different than uh, some of this higher end gameplay. So it's more entertaining. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Thanks a lot for uh, for casting with me and we'll definitely look for some more and hopefully we'll see you guys uh, next time when we cast some games. So uh, have a good night um, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. You tell them I'm coming and hell's coming with me. You hear? Hell's coming with me.